Hello, this is Music in the Minutes, Episode 5. I'm Christopher Paskis, and today I'll be reviewing Roddy Rich's Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial. Rich's actual birth name is Roderick Wayne Moore Jr., who was born on October 22, 1998. His album Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial was released on December 6, 2019, which debuted atop the Billboard 200. His music spills out the harsh realities of the streets that he has faced while growing up in Compton. Roddy has even termed himself as the illustrator of the streets. He was influenced to do music because of many other famous rappers, such as Meek Mill, Future, and Young Thug, along with the Atlanta trap and Chicago drill styles. He started his music career at the age of 8, but he wasn't that serious about it until he got to the age of 16 where he really got good and into rapping. His song Start With Me was not expected to be a song that was supposed to be produced until he and Gunna, who was another rapper, were in the studio and Jetson, who was Roddy's producer, played a beat that they both liked and it turned out to be a good song, so he put it into his album. I personally like this song because of the good rhythm and clean voice he has in the song. In his song, he mentions Scottie Pippen, who was a famous basketball player who was very good and he wanted to pay respects to the legends in this song. He wasn't alive to see Scotty play live, but he has respect for him. He also talks about his riches in the song. For example, when he talked about his very expensive watch and he said, if they don't know me and I walk past them, they're gonna see my Richard. A Richard is an expensive watch that he likes to wear. He also mentions another famous basketball player he sees as a legend and his name is Larry Bird, who Roddy had a lot of respect for. Another legend he put in his song was Michael Jackson, who died in 2009, and that made him sad because he also had respect for him and his music. He was inspired by Jackson because he would always push the limits, and he was never defined as who was coming out around him, and was always his own person. His song High Fashion, the speaker used a smooth, laid-back delivery to list an extensive inventory of luxury status symbols. Though he insists he ain't no player, he also has a collection of women in hopes that displaying his wealth in this way will persuade the object of this song to join it as his Prada Bay. This song is on the 11th track on Roddy's debut album, and his second collaboration with Mustard, who is another big rapper today. In this song, he is trying to say that he feels like women do not like him for who he is, but for how much money and fame he has. This song debuted at number 70 on the Billboard Hot 100 during the chart week of January 11, 2020. During the week ending February 1st, the song peaked at number 20 on the chart. His final song for today is named The Box, and this is his most famous and well-known song that is used a lot on the famous social media app TikTok. In August 2019, Roddy was arrested for domestic violence before being released on bail for $50,000. Roddy has a lengthy history with the law and has been to The Box, which is slang for jail, numerous times, hence the name of his song, The Box. He saw the jail as a big box with nothing to do inside, and that's all he would think about in this jail time, until he was released and put his feelings about jail into a hit song. His producer, 30 Rock, further recalled how the track came together in an interview with Genius News. He said, when it came down to the box, for me it was just like, let's see if we can push him outside of his range. I really didn't think he was going to do it, but then Roddy came and he was like, eat er, eat er. And we all looked at each other in the shock of how good it sounded. Those lyrics, e er, e er, are a very big part of the song. Roddy added the lyrics, e er, e er, when he was almost done with the song and walked out of the studio to go and take a break. But when he opened the door, the lyric, e er, was born and put into an amazing song. If you guys listening do not listen to Roddy Rich, I suggest that you start listening to his music because his songs are very catchy and have a good positive tone. That's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and you come back for more.